Up until now, scientists have been unaware of what's inside a black hole. But now we've made headway and found some interesting things. So what exactly have scientists found? And what does this new information mean for our galaxy and the universe as we know it? Stick around till the end of the video as we explore all of these and more. Supermassive black hole Sagittarius A star, frequently referred to as SGR A asterisk and pronounced Sagittarius A star, is situated at the heart of the Milky Way, our spiral galaxy. Despite being essentially inert and only infrequently absorbing gas or dust, Sagittarius A star is thought to have a mass millions of times greater than that of the Sun. There are still many mysteries that surround the supermassive black hole, but experts aren't completely in the dark, and further observations from the Event Horizon Telescope promise to reveal more. Sagittarius A's mass was estimated by astronomers Reinhard Ginzel and Andrea Gies to be around 4.3 million times that of the Sun in 2008. The supermassive black hole in the Milky Way is estimated by astronomers to have a diameter of approximately 14.6 million miles, 23.5 million kilometers. When compared to the Milky Way, which is 100,000 light years across and 1,000 light years thick, this is very tiny. Black holes are among the most intriguing and enigmatic things in the universe. So, what exactly is a black hole? A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that not even light, which is the fastest thing in the universe, can get out. Gravity in a black hole is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. This can happen when a star is dying. Black holes are invisible to the naked eye because no light can escape. However, black holes can be found with the use of space telescopes equipped with specialized equipment. The unique technologies can see how stars that are really close to black holes behave differently from other stars. A black hole's singularity is a place where matter is compressed to an endlessly small point, and all notions of time and space are entirely lost. It is the metaphorical no-man's land. When something passes into it, the rules of physics no longer hold sway. Black holes can vary in size. The smallest black holes, according to scientists, are as small as a single atom. These tiny black holes have the mass of a massive mountain, despite their size. Mass is the amount of matter, or stuff, in an object. Stellar black holes are another type of black hole. They have masses potentially up to 20 times larger than that of the Sun. The largest black holes are called supermassive. These black holes have overall masses that are more than one million suns put together. Scientists have found proof that every large galaxy contains a supermassive black hole at its center. Sagittarius A is the name of the supermassive black hole in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. This black hole would fit inside an extremely huge ball that could accommodate a few million Earths and has a mass equivalent to around four million suns. Now, how exactly do these black holes form? According to scientists, the smallest black holes were created when the universe first began. Stellar black holes form when the core of a massive star collapses in on itself. When this happens, a supernova occurs. A supernova is an exploding star that sends a portion of its mass into space. Scientists believe that supermassive black holes formed at the same time as the galaxy in which they exist. A black hole cannot be seen because strong gravity draws all light into the black hole's center. However, astronomers can observe how the black hole's enormous gravity affects the stars and gas surrounding it. Scientists can study stars to see if they are circling or traveling around a black hole. When a black hole and a star collide, high-energy light is produced. Human eyes cannot see this type of light. To observe the high-energy light, scientists employ satellites and telescopes in orbit. On May 12, 2022, scientists unveiled the first-ever image of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. The Event Horizon Telescope, which is a global network of observatories most known for capturing the event horizon of a black hole in Messier 87, M87, in 2019, produced the historic image of Sagittarius A. 
The image provides compelling evidence that a black hole really does exist at the center of the Milky Way, which has previously been the working assumption in mainstream astronomy. The image, which was captured using sub-millimeter radio waves, shows that the Milky Way does indeed include a black hole that is consuming any accessible hydrogen gas. The image was also a massive technological breakthrough after years of attempting to capture Sagittarius A, which is much smaller than M87. In fact, according to Michael Johnson of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, contrary to popular belief, Sagittarius A consumes merely a trickle of material. If Sagittarius A were a person, it would only consume a single grain of rice every million years. The most recent data also seems to indicate that our black hole's angle of spin is around 30 degrees off from the galactic plane, and they suggest extraordinary magnetic activity similar to that observed in the Sun's atmosphere. Beyond the science, astronomers acknowledge an emotional connection with finally seeing the enigmatic object about which our home galaxy revolves. Even though Sagittarius A is close to us, being only 26,000 light years away, it proved to be more difficult to observe than expected. The team spent five years analyzing data that was collected in April 2017 during incredibly bright skies across numerous countries. Due to Sagittarius A's small size, its accretion disks, dust, and gas orbit in a matter of minutes as opposed to weeks, making it a moving target from one observation to the next. Scientists compared the observations to attempting to photograph a dog chasing its tail with a slow shutter speed on a camera. Additionally, scientists had to look through the galactic plane to remove stray stars and dust clouds from their images. The brilliant blobs in the image can be explained by a mixture of these elements, as well as possibly by an extreme black hole phenomenon. The accretion disk's particles which are heated to billions of degrees as they orbit the black hole before slamming into the center vortex, produce radiation that is detected by the EHT. The image's blotchy aura represents light bent by the black hole's strong gravity, which is four million times bigger than the sun's. The observation of a variety of black holes included our own, which is relatively dormant, and stormy giants like M87 star, which is turbulent, may ultimately help scientists resolve a chicken-and-egg dilemma about the history of galaxies. How was Sagittarius A discovered? Theories about Sagittarius A star and its enormous occupant have existed since Carl Jinksky discovered a radio signal that was aimed towards the Milky Way center from a place in the direction of the Sagittarius constellation in the early 1930s. Then, in February 1974, Astronomers Bruce Ballack and Robert L. Brown discovered the tiny radio source Sagittarius A star at the galactic center. Astronomers first hypothesized in the 1980s that the quark compact object was probably a black hole with previously unimaginable dimensions. In 1994, Reinhard Ginzel and a group from UC Berkeley discovered the presence of a compact object in the area with a mass three million times that of the Sun using infrared and sub-millimeter spectroscopy. The assumption that Sagittarius A star is a supermassive black hole was bolstered over the course of the following 10 years as astronomers continued to rule out alternative candidates for this object, such as densely grouped stars. Astronomers using the European Southern Observatory, ESO's Very Large Telescope, VLT, observed emissions caused by magnetic interactions from hot gas clumps close to the black hole moving at about 30% the speed of light in 2018, providing conclusive evidence that the compact object Sagittarius A star is a supermassive black hole. Theoretical predictions for hotspots orbiting near a black hole with a mass of 4 million solar masses were perfectly matched by these observations. Now, is it possible for Earth to fall into a black hole? Should we be worried about our home planet disappearing anytime soon? It is a popular misconception that black holes consume material. That's not true. They just catch any stuff that comes too close to their gravity. So if the sun were to be replaced by a black hole, Earth's orbit would remain stable and secure. However, our solar system would become incredibly dark and frigid. Many black holes consume matter, gas, and dust, 
or stuff ripped from neighboring stars, enveloping it in an accretion disk that gradually feeds materials to the center. When this occurs, the intense circumstance in the accretion disk produce tremendous emissions and jets from a location known as an active galactic nucleus, AGN. Sagittarius A star is not currently swallowing enough matter to power an AGN, and a star or other object would have to strike it almost directly in order to be eaten. This could change in about 4 billion years though, when the Milky Way collides and merges with Andromeda, causing stars to collide and creating another potentially much larger black hole for stars to fall into. What do you think about this discovery? Let us know down in the comment section.